Welcome Junior Tuckies, I'm Ms. Kutsia and I'm here today to teach you how cells come together to form tissues, eventually then organs, and then we will be looking lastly at different organ systems. But let's start with the simple section. So, in the human body, we will find something called specialized cells. So it tells you exactly what it is. So when something is specialized, it's very specific. So in this case, when a cell is specialized, it means that they already have a specific function. They have different structures, which allows them to perform these different functions. We then say that these cells have differentiated. So they have changed themselves to do or to perform a specific function. So if you look at the picture on the right, you will see the sperm and the ovum. They have their shape. They have their structure exactly to perform a specific structure or a, a specific function. So they actually all derive from something called a stem cell. So this might be something new or something that you would have heard of before. So let's have a look what is a stem cell. So a stem cell is an unspecialized cell. It is not differentiated yet. So they do not have a specific function. So these cells can develop and divide into any type of cell which it is necessary to change into. So we can collect stem cells from a developing embryo, which you will see on the left hand side. Also from the placenta, which I will teach you more about when we do reproduction. And then also bone marrow in adults. So, but stem cells, what makes them so important and why do we need to know so much about stem cells? So, stem cells can change into any specialized cell, which will help us treat uncurable diseases and conditions like diabetes or even something like cancer. It also allows us to repair damaged cells like nerve cells. So, nerve cells cannot repair themselves on their own. So with this ability, if we can manipulate a stem cell, we will have the ability to cure someone that is paralyzed and help them to walk and move again. So let's have a look at what is the difference between a macro and a microorganism, which we also did in grade eight. So a macroorganism will be organisms that you can see with the naked eye. So these are multicellular organisms, meaning that they consist out of millions and millions and millions of cells. Then microorganisms will refer to organisms which we cannot see with the naked eye. We actually need a microscope to study these organisms. And most of these organisms are unicellular organisms, meaning they are single-celled, only one cell. And these are bacteria, viruses, and fungi. So let's have a look at the organization level of cells to tissues and things like that. So how an organism is eventually put together to form different structures. So firstly, we start at the basics, the cell. When cells come together, they form tissues, eventually organs, different organ systems, and then an organism. Then organisms will form a population, a community, even an ecosystem, and then lastly, the entire biosphere. So if cells come together to form tissues, it eventually builds a body system. So let's have a look at the different body systems we will, which we will do individually in my next few videos. So firstly, we're going to start with the cardiovascular system, which transports oxygen and nutrients and metabolic waste throughout the system. Then we have the breathing system or also the respiratory system, which applies oxygen and removes carbon dioxide. And then we have the digestive system, which breaks down food, um, which then can be absorbed into the bloodstream and then transported to every cell in the body. Then we have the excretion system, which removes metabolic waste like water or salts from the body. And then next, we have our last three, which is the musculoskeletal system, which is your muscles for movement and the skeleton for protection. Then your nervous system, which receives and process any stimuli from the environment. And then lastly, we will have the reproductive system, which produces sex cells and ensures the continuation of the species. And that is it for my next video. Please make sure to watch my next few videos on the different 
body systems of the human so that you can learn a bit on how your body works.